What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Heavenly Delusion. Now last time, I don't know what the hell is going on with uh, Tokyo and his abilities, but like, I don't know what it is. I, it might be like a technology thing, like being able to interfere with the technology because, um... I said invisibility last week, but that wouldn't really make sense because the person in front of you could see you. It's just like the cameras couldn't see you, so why? But you did leave a footprint on that wall, so... And why was that baby drawn towards you? It was weird. And it said your freaking name. It's creepy. Now, I... Mm, okay, I have to say, I feel like I need to stop reading the comments because there's a person... I think it's the same person. It could be multiple people, but... There's somebody who posts comments in the comment section in YouTube and like puts these theories out and I'm like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. I'm starting to think this person read the manga and is leaving theories down there because I feel like they're way too accurate. So I like to read my comments because I like to see other people, um, see other people read other people's thoughts and hear your opinions and things because maybe you picked on some picked up on something that I didn't but I'm st I just can't shake that I just feel like you're way too on it like on the nose to have not read the manga I just feel like that but I could be wrong but mm, I don't know so like anyway um I will I will say this theory because I do maybe agree with it but after this week, I'm not reading that shit anymore. So skip this intro completely if you don't want to get spoiled, okay? Nah. So, remember I was saying, like, they, they were saying, like, that picture was sent to that boy. And he was, like, asking the girl, like, you know, did you send that to me? And, and then if you did, why'd you, like, delete it? Or I don't know how you would delete it off his tablet or whatever the fuck that thing is. But he was asking her that. Did you do that? She's like, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. And so, and then the staff keeps saying, like, who is introducing these ideas to these children? Like, you know, kissing and having sex and all of these things. And the comment was, it's prob most likely the mother, like that AI kind of, kind of thing. I don't even know what to call it. The mother. And remember the old lady went up and said, do you know who, like, ha hacked into your thing or something? Like, who, not hacked it, who, like, got into that room or something? And she's like, she kind of, like, I forgot what she said, but she kind of shrugged it off. Like, would you know? Would you know if, if something invaded, like, invaded your body or something like that? I don't know. Like, would you know? And she was like, hmm, fair, you got me there. I don't remember how she explained it away, but something like that. Um... And the theory was, like, that the mother is introducing all these concepts to the children so that maybe, I don't know what for what reason, but, like, maybe to get them to start, like, I guess to be a little less brainwashed, like, introducing ideas that they're keeping kept from them so that maybe they'll be a little more, um, like, piquing their curiosity, I guess, and, like, getting them to want to like think for themselves or find out more and like like sick kid i forgot his name but like he's like you got to run away you got to get out of here that was like the last scene and so maybe wanting them to like yes get curious discover more about this place don't just sit here so like complacently and just like it you need to find out more so maybe that's more what it's about it's like kickstarting that curiosity i don't know um this place is dangerous. Run. Something like that. That's what that sick boy said. Why is it dangerous? And the thing is, it's like, I could see that it's the mother that's, like, introducing the concepts. Because it's like, they're her children at the end of the day. So she probably cares about them more than these human scientists do. I mean, to them, they're all just pretty much, in my mind, don't know for a fact yet. But, like, it seems like they're just, like, lab experiments. I don't know. So maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Don't know. Or maybe 
this is kind of like a mix between what I think and what this person thinks um, in the comments. But, um, but yeah, so from now on, I'm just gonna, I don't know, I feel like I need to stay away from it because I'm just like, that's twice now where like they were right, like they were right about the brother and sister switching bodies, and I'm just like, mm, I just feel like you, I don't know, it's just weird to me. It's just weird. Like, you're way too on it to have not read it. That's what I think. But anyway, all that out of the way, uh, let's jump into the reaction, guys. こんにちは。<laughs> <laughs> <laughs> okay, asshole. Now I'm gonna hack into your fucking heart and just crush it. No, I'm just kidding. He could, though, if he wanted to. I forgot he's a good fighter. Yeah, I could just whoop your ass. <laughs> no. One more time. Kick him one more time. <gasps> oh no! Nah. Beat the dog shit out of them. You can take. Oh my god, he lost a tooth. I hate that. That's like my least favorite thing to see. And they shrug it off like it's fucking nothing. And then what? Miraculously, later in this episode, you're gonna have your tooth again. Yeah, no, fuck you. I'll make you lose a tooth too, bitch. Get lost. Yes! Curb stomp his ass. I got your back, bro, no matter what. I trust you. Yes, yes, yes. What? It might grow back. Who fucking knows? Maybe it will. I mean, he's not a normal human. I'm... Mm. Wouldn't that be nice? Mm. Oh, so he did get hacked again. Yeah, he's gonna be a fucking dick as fuck. That's what I heard. How did she know? Isaito's you shouldn't take that so lightly, I guess. The, fa the fact that he had feelings for you. Does, sorry. Had feelings. <笑>昨日の連中に見つかったら面倒なことになる。うん。うん。大丈夫。晴れてるけど割れてはいない。<笑><笑> あんな時に構ってないでしょ。
Not true. He's not gonna leave you. He has no ties to... Oh, fuck. He left? But why would he leave the door open? Mm. Anyway, he has... I'm gonna finish my thought. He has no ties to those people. So why would he... leave you and not come back? Oh, fuck. Right as I say that, he left. What the hell? Where did you go? What? Oh no, she... He doesn't want to be alone again. Oh. Oh my god, that's so... It's cute. He was scared. What kind of books? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. Mm. Mm, he doesn't want to be alone again. It's so cute. I ship them. I freaking ship them. But he's not into guys, so. ちょっと暇になりすぎた人間同士が互いに監視し始めて、ルールやわがままを押し付け合って、姉妹に殺し合いになって腹に立って。戦争崩壊してきたな。作り話だろ。いかにも偶話的すぎる。前の暮らしが天国とも限
What are you gonna do with his body? Are you gonna do a an autopsy? Who's Asura? What the hell? I don't know, it looks like that person hung themselves from some look I don't know what. Like they were in the air. Was a suicide. われわれが殺したようなものです。過酷な思いを避けてしまいました。生み出したこと自体が我々の罪なんです。アスラの隣、カラオ君のお墓を。What the the day of fate? What are you talking about? Why are you throwing up? Just because... Oh, fuck. Hmm? Immortal Order? Is that the school? Or whatever, heaven? Keep calling it a school. <laughs> mm. Oh, fuck. What's in the bag? Uh, is that true though? It has a part of a monster inside of it? Yeah, what the hell are you doing, dude? Looks like you're gonna have to get something fresh. Listen to him, what? What the hell is that? This looks like a brain. Kind of. I don't know, man. That's weird looking. That is weird looking. Um, I think it looks kind of like a brain, but I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe it's not a brain. Um, what else could it be looking like that? What's up, guys? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I zoned out <laughs> in this entire like little flashback scene. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking about. But anyway, while I was editing... So he's talking about, um, Hawk, I think, what's his name? Hawk? I don't even remember the fucking guy's name, not gonna lie. But, um, Kiriko's bud, friend, whatever, that disappeared. He was talking about, there's like a rumor going around about like the Ministry of D Construction or something, I think it was. Yeah, Ministry of Reconstruction, which is probably heaven. Um, anyway, what they're doing is kidnapping children in hopes of, like, well, I was going to say saving society, but, like, returning it to what it once was, reconstructing it, civilization. Um, but this is my question, is, like, are they still kidnapping children, though? Because to me, right now, current times, this is probably an old rumor, um... It seems like they don't need to kidnap children because they, that little AI thing, mother, she's having children fine on, on her own unless they need children to keep supplying, I don't know, DNA or, I don't know. I really don't know. So maybe, like, they just need them as materials. Um... 
to create these like superhumans um because maybe they believe regular regular old humans are not evolved enough to survive when you have these creatures out there and i think it was louie on patreon who said i know it was louie uh shout out <laughs> he was like uh what if they're using because that one guy right later in the episode was like i want oh sorry we didn't get there yet <laughs> but he says uh I have this DNA, this sample of a monster, and if I bring it to, I don't remember what he called it, this place, but it could have been this Ministry of Reconstruction, um, then I'll become immortal. Like, they just, like, in, infuse me with, I don't know, or maybe um, transplant it, and so... That was his theory of like maybe that's how like these monsters are created is like maybe if you attach the the monsters i don't know part of their flesh to or an organ to a human they like mutate but my question then would be like then what would be what would it what would a monster who hadn't been fused with the human look like if that were the case so i don't know if that's necessarily it either but i it could be it's i think it is how those babies were born though i think it is how those kids were born i do definitely think that um they were made using the monster's dna um because you see how they look when they're born now i don't know how they go from that to looking like normal human beings but that must be like why somewhere along the way they just start breaking down because I don't know how old these children are. But she said this is the second time this has happened. So this little experiment they have going on can't have been going on for long. Um, is my guess. I mean, I don't know. I could be wrong. The oldest person we've seen who's probably from that school is um, that girl who taught uh, Maru everything. He said he, he knows. So, and I don't know how old she is. Maybe like... 18 maybe a little older i wouldn't mm, i would i don't think she's older than like early 20s she looked young but um so maybe i'm gonna say max this whole school thing's been going on because this this has been going on 15 years they said that they, like the collapse of society it's been 15 years since then they could have been running these little experiments before then maybe not much longer but so I would say, yeah, maybe she was 18 or something. Um, so, but she said she, because she said she's 20. So, yeah. Or he said he's 20. Sorry. Um, Kiriko. So I don't know. But yeah, I feel like whatever's going on, the reason they're deteriorating is because something is not compatible with what they've mixed up inside to make these children um or these superhumans and i do know that they care about them you see it later when she the, the old lady's crying but i'll have to put this somewhere in my review not in the middle of the fucking episode like i was going to but um yeah i don't know like i don't know guys um i just have a lot of questions so, okay, back on track. Um, what's making them deteriorate? It's got to be the mixing of these monsters. But where did these monsters come from? You didn't just discover them. I don't believe that. And maybe that's true. M maybe you did. Maybe they're alien kind of things. And they just landed here. And I mean, who the fuck knows? We don't know. We don't have a lot of background information. We just know they appear, but no one knows how. You know, your first guess is, oh, they created it in the lab, but, like, maybe it's not that obvious. Maybe they did crash land here, and and this, like, this, like lab, is, they've made it their mission to make humans, uh, or an evolved version of humans, that can stand, like, or go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these monsters and come out of the other side of it relatively, hopefully, unscathed, or just come out on top. Um, but he said that place is dangerous. I can't get over what he said. 
uh, that sick kid. So, I mean, it doesn't seem like they're doing anything evil, but it's just like, but maybe they don't think that they're doing anything wrong because it's for the sake of humanity, right? But you know, like how the ends justify the means sort of thing, that's probably their mindset, but it doesn't mean they're heartless because she was crying. The old lady was crying. I don't know. Anyway, um, obviously I'm going to continue editing this and I'll think more on this, but like I wanted to get all these thoughts out there <laughs> now while it's fresh. Um, and yeah, this is going to seem so abrupt. Like where do I put this where it doesn't seem so freaking awkward? I might put this like, this might just be my new review or I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Because I think the review I did initially was just kind of garbage compared to this. Um, you know, when you have time to stew and you rewatch it, like just some, you know, shit comes to mind that didn't come to mind before. So, um, I'll have to rewatch my review and, um, and maybe I'll like keep <laughs> some clips of it in there and, you know, combine these two. But, um, yeah, anyway, uh. If I if this is the end, if I left this at the end, hopefully you enjoyed the reaction and I will catch you guys in the next one. And if it's not, <laughs> and then enjoy the rest of the review. <laughs> Man, I thought they didn't care about them either, but it seems like they really do care about these kids. One of them, Asura, killed herself. Themselves. I'm not sure. It's boy or girl, I don't know. I don't... Um... But how? Like, what did they hang themselves from? I mean, it looked like they were hanging from, like, outside the building, like, from the sky. What would you have hung yourself from to... You know what I mean? Like, I don't... I don't know. Hmm. Man. And I do feel like a romance might brew between um, Maru and Kiriko, but I could be wrong. Like, maybe he'll actually fall in love with him. I don't know. Maybe. I think they're cute, so I wouldn't mind it. Um, don't really get much development on the mother theory thing, if you watched my intro. Um... I won't repeat it just in case people might not want to be spoiled because I have a feeling that that theory might actually be true because of a comment that was left in my comment section that I thought was a good theory at first and then over time I started to think it might actually be that somebody read the manga and is playing it off like it's a theory but it's not. Anyway, um, I just wonder like... what that illness is and how it happens. And if these kids are built or born with um, immunity to any illness, how are they getting sick? Is it just not natural to be immune to everything? So like the body just, I don't know, breaks down? Like, I don't know what it, it what would it be that's causing that? Because it just seems like their body is just like decaying from the inside out, like, it's like rot. It just looks like rot. It's all black. You know? It just... I don't know. Um... And then that whole theory of... Okay, like in the show. Like, if you transplant a part or maybe an organ from a monster in into a human, then you'll be immortal. Is that true? Are these children immortal? I mean, they were made probably, I'm assuming these children and the monsters were made in the same place. So, maybe, I don't know, like, it could be that, it could be true that these kids are immortal if these monsters are also, I don't know. I don't know. I wonder. I don't know... But we don't know enough about these monsters in this facility yet. 
immortal doesn't mean invincible as well so like just because you live forever doesn't mean that you can't um i don't know be injured or be killed so it just means you wouldn't die naturally i don't know i don't know i really feel like the facility has something to do with those monsters creation because where else would would they come from they they definitely didn't just form out of nowhere i don't know and then that girl that um maru was um given given this mission by i forgot her name akura i don't remember oh no i'm thinking of Asura. i think i don't know her name anyway she had the same rot, so I think she probably came from that school. How did you find Maru? How did you find out about his abilities? Like, we need to know her story, but we can't because she's dead. There's just so many pieces. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to add. Uh, oh my god. My hair is everywhere. Looking crazy. But, um, yeah, if I missed anything, please let me know. Leave your theories down in the comments. Theories. Theories. Don't freaking, like, read the manga and then try to post a comment and play it off like it's a theory, because I don't want to be spoiled. So, anyway. Um, but yeah, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I will catch you in the next reaction.